otherworldly, sort of like they have this black armor on them and they look very formidable, but actually they're very gentle creatures. Deadly Tarantula Girl coming to you from my private Serpentarium tonight to bring you some interesting invertebrate behavior. This is a video that I have not filmed a lot about and this video is about Mastigoproctus giganteus, also known as vinegaroon. So this is an animal that's native to the American Southwest. They have them here in New Mexico, Texas, and Arizona. The ones that we have do get pretty big. I'm acting like, you know, big fish story. You know, big. And the two that I have, which I suspect are male and female, but I don't know that for sure. This animal is certainly not my specialty. So if you have more knowledge about them, I would love to hear from you and see what you have to say. Anyway, I witnessed what I believe to be a breeding ritual behavior. And so today, we're going to throw this, what appear to be probably a male and female together and see what happens. Now, from what I know, they're not going to breed for us on camera because it's a long drawn out process. However, I am hoping to capture some of the dancing that I witnessed earlier before we started filming because it was very interesting and neat to see. So I hope you guys get to see a little bit of what I saw earlier. Let's take a stab at it. Okay, so this is her enclosure here. And uh, without freaking him out too much, I'm just gonna scoop him up. And you can see they're both at a really nice body weight and he's kind of funny. He's not wanting to get off my hand, there he goes. And so, yeah. Look how cute they are. Okay, let me get my tongs just in case someone tries to die. He's a little bit freaked out. She looks pretty interested. Yeah. Okay. Uh, speak. Well, just watching them. She's opening her pinchers really wide. Uh, so is he. Okay. Uh, oh, look, look, he's doing it. He's doing it. Look, he's wagging his little tail. Oh my gosh. Um, hopefully those are hugging arms and not cannibalistic eating arms that she's opening. Uh, from what I know, if they're interested, they'll both start backing up. Uh, I'm, I'm perceiving this as peaceful romantic behavior. They're both well fed so I don't foresee them cannibalizing. And she's a big mama. Oh look at him! He's doing the tail wag. So cute. And they're kind of gently caressing. He's wagging again. So cute. He's being very respectful of her boundaries. Well, what I'm seeing right now is them just kind of taking each other in. She keeps kind of reaching out. 
This is definitely different from tarantula breeding, but I think, <laughs> I don't know if you caught that little tail flick. That is a good sign. They both seem very peacefully interested. And as I mentioned, their mating rituals take hours and hours and hours. Like they'll lock up and not move for hours sometimes, but that's all part of the process. So I don't know if we'll be able to record everything today, but this is very interesting. I think I should just, okay. So I think we'll go ahead and record for one more minute. Oh, it's so cute. She's just like gently caressing him. Um. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and record for one more minute, and then I think I, yeah, oh, that's so sweet. They're being so gentle. They're so cute. I'm dying to see what, what, what's going to happen next. Okay. <laughs> so she closed her pinchers and now his is white. His are wide open. Baby, come back. So she's backing up a little bit and he's coming forward. He's wagging his tail. Oh, look at him. He's doing a little dance for her. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching what just happened. Earlier, when I was watching them, I saw him doing the tail wagging, which was so interesting. That's something that I've never witnessed before. And I know that in the wild, vinegarins are very solitary. And so my primary concern was, regardless of what we saw, that they both make it out alive, which they did. And regardless of whether or not I'm going to be able to reproduce these animals. They're interesting, amazing, I think very cool to look at. They look almost kind of otherworldly, sort of like they have this black armor on them and they look very formidable, but actually they're very gentle creatures. So a neat animal to observe no matter what. And um, go ahead and comment below if you have any tips on how to reproduce these animals. Hope you guys like seeing this one and I'll see you again very soon.